What is up guys, it's Mr. Fantastic here and we have our first look at the Huawei P50 and P50 Pro via Steve from OnLeaks so a huge shout out to him, I'll link the articles from him in the description down below, you can check them out. So we can see a very robust design, there is glass on both the front and the back with an aluminum frame in between which is flat at the top and the bottom. We also have an IR blaster, I wish they gave us a headphone jack instead of an IR blaster, like seriously, it would have been a whole lot better. And we can see a massive camera bump and oh boy. Is it big? Like real big. It's actually pretty similar to the Huawei Nova 8. We don't really know how many cameras it has and what the orientation will be like but reports suggest that it might be a quad camera setup and we may also see the world's first 1 inch mobile camera lens on both models which is insane. It will be a Sony IMX800 lens. And we also have some sample photos from it which were recently leaked and you can see how much depth of field it has and there's like no noise at all and I really like the image quality of course it will be a lot better when it launches. It will be interesting to see what the video quality will be like and how much stable will it be and how fast the autofocus will be. We will also have an ultrawiding lens, a 3x and a 10x zoom lens. Let me know what you guys think about this design in the comment section below. I actually don't mind it. As of the displays, the Huawei P50 will have a 6.3 inch OLED display. Strangely, there's no mention of a high refresh rate display it might be 90 hertz and the screen is actually flat which i bet some people will really appreciate the bezels on it are slightly thicker than the pro model we will also have a small hole punch in the middle and as of the huawei p50 pro we have a 6.6 .6 inch 90 hertz oled panel and it is slightly curved and the bezels are extremely thin and the chin is very slim i think it will look dope in real life and we also have a hole punch in the middle and by the looks of it it's pretty small it's a very interesting approach by Huawei because they've used a dual camera setup on their previous models so it's technically a downgrade but all in all I think it will look fantastic. And both models will have an in-display optical fingerprint scanner. As of the specs we will have 8 gigs of RAM and 118 gigs of base storage and the processor will be the Kirin 9000 which is based on 5 nanometer architecture. It is actually the same as the Huawei Mate 40 because well due to the US ban they can't make more chips because they are manufactured by TSMC and yes it won't be coming with Android 11 it will have Huawei's own long rumored operating system called Harmony OS it will be interesting to see what will it be like and how Huawei optimizes it and takes advantage of it and how fast will it be I also made a video on it a while back of course I will link that in the description down below if you want to check it out but I will soon be making an update video on it in the coming week when I'm done researching on it so stay tuned for that the Huawei P50s will be limited in number like a told earlier because of the US ban they have a very limited number of chipsets on hand. It will be releasing on April 17, 2021. They were about to launch 3 models but the Pro Plus model is delayed so maybe it will be released a bit late. So yeah that's all I got today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure you subscribe for more of this stuff and turn those bell notifications so you don't miss any regular videos. This is Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic and I'll catch you guys very soon in my next video.